So listen, what's up y'all? Um, this is gonna be real, real, real quick on this Tuesday. I'm gonna tell you this little story and then I'm gonna get into what I really wanna encourage you guys with on this week. Um, so by now, if you don't know, I moved to Georgia a year ago. For those of you who do know, I'm gonna tell you this little story that kind of really propelled me forward uh, to go ahead and make that leap of faith. So uh, one of my closest friends moved to Arizona probably a year before I moved to Georgia. And he came over to the house and uh, to say goodbye to me and my mom. And I was crying because I was like, dang, I'm really going to miss him. And then my mama had said something that kind of, you know, shook me up just a little bit. She was like, um, yeah, this one's still walking around as if her wings are clipped. And I was like, uh, ma'am, don't be putting my business out like there. And I didn't know that I was so afraid to step into who God was calling me to be because I hadn't seen that version of me before in anybody. Um, I didn't know at that time I was so afraid to try again after being hurt by certain situations in life and after having experienced certain situations um, that I didn't think I would recover from. And I'm here to encourage you and tell you to stop running Stop running from what God wants to do for you. Stop running for what he's calling you into. Stop running from that very desire that's been in your heart, that idea, that very thing you keep thinking about, you keep saying. Stop running. I promise you, running ain't going to do nothing for you. God's words, and I believe it's in Isaiah. I could be wrong. I'm going to put the message on the screen. And it says, they that wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will run and not get weary. They will walk and never faint. They will mount up on wings like eagles and soar. And I hadn't realized that, yes, as a baby in Christ back then, a few years ago, um, that I was, wasn't was recognizing that I was doing the very thing that word said. I was walking. I wasn't becoming as weary. I was overcoming. Luckily, I had some great wise counsel. But I'm here to tell you to stop running. Stop running from him. Stop running from what he wants you to do. Stop running from who he's showing you. A lot of y'all been saying, God, who am I? Who am I? And he's showing you, but you're so afraid to believe it because nobody else has validated it. Stop running. Baby, I'm a living witness to tell you the moment I stopped running, baby, the moment I realized peace and accepted it, the moment I stopped running was the moment I got tired of hiding who I really was and who I really am, and that's a little ratchet and righteous. The moment I stopped running was the moment I set boundaries, I said no to myself, and I said no to people who wasn't good for me in situations that weren't fruitful for me in my calling. Baby, stop running and just go ahead and step into it. I promise you. It ain't as scary as you think. Believe it or not, the answer to your prayer is on the other side of you being still. I hope that made sense. I love you.